Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and I make videos about cybersecurity. And in today's video, I wanted to touch on the topic of why I chose a career in cybersecurity. So if you guys are familiar with my background, you know that I wasn't necessarily looking for specifically cybersecurity roles, but once I did find my first cybersecurity job, these reasons I'll go over in this video are the reasons why I decided to stay in cybersecurity instead of going back to software development or a role in the data space. And of course, I'll have timestamps in the video if you guys wanna jump around. All right, so one of the first reasons is definitely very obvious because because if you've read any articles on the trajectory of, of cybersecurity careers, then you know that by, I believe, 2030, there's gonna be 3.5 million cybersecurity jobs that needs to be filled, and it really makes cybersecurity in general just a very secure place to be because there's gonna be more jobs that are created, more companies looking to hire cybersecurity talent, and with more and more of the world coming online, they're gonna need cybersecurity professionals to secure their data, secure their users, and anything else that they are trying to protect on the World Wide Web. So basically, it's the fact that cybersecurity is a growing field, which makes it one of the best places in technology to be to have job security. For example, even if the economy or a company isn't doing the best, they're not going to lay off their cybersecurity team just because because obviously you need those cybersecurity professionals to protect your data no matter what is happening. So that's definitely something that is important to me because let's face it, job security is important. And I also think it's something that more and more people are especially beginning to think about in the post-COVID era because obviously if you're in a field where you may not be performing critical functions for your company then there's a higher chance of you getting laid off during times of recession or during times where there are just maybe more layoffs. Not to get really dark here but I do want to be realistic with the expectations that obviously employees want from their employers and job security is a really big one. Alright so this leads me to my next reason which is the fact that which is the fact that it is relatively easy to move into other areas of cybersecurity. So I do think this is a little bit easier coming from me just because I was in a rotational program and I basically did three different jobs in the last two and a half years working full time. But I will also add in that everyone I've talked to in cybersecurity, um, even if they only have, even if they only had four to five years of experience in the field, they've already had two or three plus jobs just in that span of time. So because the field is always expanding and always growing, that also means that new jobs are being created in areas that may not have been needed before. For example, with concepts like zero trust, that more companies are adopting into their environment and their cybersecurity strategies. There also needs to be a team set up for that, a manager set up for that, and there's just so many directions that cybersecurity is going, um, whether, whether you're in IoT devices, dealing with nation states and cyber intelligence, or reverse engineering malware. There's just so many different avenues that you can go into in cybersecurity. And who knows, maybe in two or three years, the job that you'll be having is one that doesn't even exist yet today, or it's something brand new that the industry is just starting to hire roles for. So I really think that the opportunities here are, are limitless in terms of what you want to do and where you want to drive your career. And because cybersecurity is one of those fields in technology that also allow, that also have a lot of cross-functional teams, which means there may be teams that are technical, there may be teams that aren't, there may be teams that are more business focused or back office. There's basically a lot of collaboration between the teams and that causes you to be able to talk to many different people. And one key thing here is that is that people find new jobs from other people. Um, it's really rare once you start your career that you are going to apply to a job online and that is going to be your next step. Of course it happens, but a lot of people really look a lot of people really get opportunities given to them when they work with someone and they really enjoyed working with them and want them on their team. Or maybe they're creating a new team and thought of them. So it really is about networking and, and working with as many people as possible so that you also understand their roles and their teams. Even if you're someone who is an introvert like me, setting up a call once in a while to shadow someone that you're interested in or maybe someone gave a presentation and you want to learn more about it um, those are all great ways to just network and I really love to make a video on networking and cybersecurity 
or just in general in the tech space because I feel like when you think of networking, you think of having to go to networking events and being in a room with a hundred people and going up to each of them, shaking their hands, talking to them. Networking is not like that. At least at least the kind of networking that I enjoy doing. Um, of course, I enjoy events sometimes, but, but I personally wouldn't go to networking events every week or even every month. So there's definitely different ways of going about networking. So that's also something to consider when you are going into your career in cybersecurity. And that networking that you do can eventually lead can eventually lead to shadowing someone in their job, meeting other teammates that might be working on projects that you're interested in, or maybe they leave the company and have their own startup and you end up going to work with them. So yeah, there's basically a lot of things that can happen. And that's why I think the field of cybersecurity is a really good place to be able to move around and basically shift your career the way that you want. Okay, reason number three is being able to work with some of the smartest people that I've ever met. Now, of course, this can be subjective, but I would at least think that most people uh, working in the field would consider their coworkers very good at their jobs and very knowledgeable about the work that they do. And one of the reasons why I really enjoy cybersecurity specifically is because this is one of the fields that is that really highlights diversity of thought. For example, there's a lot of people in cybersecurity who also have a human psychology background or where they come from government or law enforcement or other government agencies or they're veterans or they were straight out of college like me. So people basically come from all walks of life into cybersecurity and it's all for different reasons. And because of this, you have a very wide range of smart people that you can consult and find mentorship from. And my mentors in cybersecurity from the red team and other ethical hacking teams and, and just general cybersecurity technologists and managers, they have been amazing resources for me just talking to them about different problems I face in my day to day job, um, any technical difficulties that I'm having, but also just navigating my career. And I think that's something that's really priceless because, because obviously you can find that technical knowledge from Google or maybe some playbook or documentation that you read. But I really think that it's a valuable skills of navigating your career and, and talking to people who've already been there, done that in their careers and just learning from them. Now, of course, I'm sure you can find very smart people in most and basically every sector of technology. But since I am a little bit biased, I do think that cybersecurity technologists are generally one of the most proactively intelligent people that I've worked with. And what I mean by proactively intelligent, and that's a word I literally just thought of on the top of my head just now. But basically, but basically they look for problems before they start because obviously cybersecurity breaches are very, very bad and no company wants to be a headliner on the New York Times or some news article that their company has been hacked into. So because of this, people who work in cybersecurity are very proactive in terms of finding problems, finding solutions before the problems arise. And that cultural mindset ends up making really resilient teams and overall just really effective professionals. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to discuss, which of course you guys would have expected is on this list, is great salary and great benefits. Now, of course, this is again subjective just because it will depend on the company and wherever you're working and the country that you're living in. But generally, cybersecurity and technology roles in general pay a lot more than the median household income of most of most other sectors even with just an associate's, a bootcamp, or a bachelor's degree. And if you guys haven't already watched it, I previously made a video on cybersecurity salaries across the board from entry level to bootcamp to senior level cybersecurity careers. And I will link that video below if you guys are interested in checking it out. But yeah, basically you can graduate college, graduate from a bootcamp, and basically have a starting salary that is already higher than the median US household income. And honestly, that is a very big factor in most people's lives. Like I mentioned as part of my first reason about job security, I wanna be as realistic and transparent here as possible, but obviously salary is very important and it's a huge determining factor of what roles people go into, what sectors people choose, 
So even if money isn't everything, it's definitely an important determinant in your job decision-making process. So good pay and benefits combined, combined with really good job security are probably two of the biggest reasons to go into cybersecurity. All right, the next reason is just the fact that the work is interesting. So how many people can go home and tell their family, their friends, that they stopped someone from hacking into an account? Just in general, the work in cybersecurity is very impactful. And even if you don't actually know the targeted individuals of those you're trying to defend in a cyber attack, there's definitely something about protecting people, their data, their money, their personal information that can really that can really strike home in terms of, of your personal values and your own mission statement. It really feels like you're serving it really feels like you're serving a greater purpose and you're doing a lot to protect the important assets of people around the world of all of your stakeholders and i like to just think of it this way for example if there's someone who is trying to hack into your grandmother's account and she may not be as technical maybe her password is very weak and the cybersecurity teams are really the ones in between the adversaries and and the innocent individuals that may not be aware of cybersecurity threats that are targeting them so that's why i think it's a very fulfilling role in terms of the work that you're doing for others and this brings me to my last reason for staying for working in cybersecurity and it kind of hops off of the previous reason that i mentioned and that is the fact that the skills that you learn in your cybersecurity roles may also be relevant to real life for example before i got into cybersecurity i never really thought about the best ways to the best ways to secure my at-home router. I never really use a VPN. I really just surf the web the way I do. I used to think incognito really made me invisible on the internet. And yeah, <laughs> like it goes to show how far you can go. And so that's why I think it's really important, even for non-cybersecurity professionals, to understand the cybersecurity landscape as a whole. Because obviously many, many people have a router at home, they have Wi-Fi at home, and if someone was war driving across your neighborhood and was able to just... And if you had a very unsecure home network, and if someone was war driving across your neighborhood, then that could be a security threat that you weren't even aware about if you weren't in cybersecurity or or you're just a normal civilian who may not be aware who may not know a lot about cybersecurity and i just think that security online when you're just browsing the web or or online shopping is really important as well as knowing about things like phishing attacks the different types of malware that could target anybody and sorry the lighting is changing a lot because the sun is setting so so i'm gonna try to wrap up this video but I recently did also make a video on the top seven most dangerous viruses in history. So I will link that video down below as well. And this has just again become a plug for my previous videos. But last year I did make two videos on seven reasons to go into cybersecurity and seven reasons not to go into cybersecurity. So if you're interested in hearing about the pros and the cons, then definitely watch those videos. If you, if you guys are interested in learning more, about what it's like to have a career in Star Wars security. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 12 p.m. And I also have different cybersecurity career resources and merch linked in the description below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and all of your support. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Are limitless? Are limit? Are limitless? <laughs>